Since video plays such a significant role in online learning, and in particular in the PID 3320 Facilitating Learning Online course, um, and we are using a video management and video creation tool called Kaltura within the Moodle shell that we have here at VCC, um, I think it, it might be prudent to offer a few key tips to uh, help you deal with some of the uniqueness of the My Media infrastructure that is part of the Moodle interface and then how Kaltura is integrated into that. Uh, there's a media gallery that we have in, in all of our courses, um, and that is where videos will reside that are uploaded into the system. And we use a Kaltura management system um, as part of that. The way that you get video into that system, well, there's a couple of ways. You can actually use Kaltura Desktop Capture or Kaltura, the Kaltura tools, uh, which you access through a really unique place called My Media. And the reason that this is important, all the media features are attached to the things that you do. This is part of your toolkit. So to access My Media, you simply click on My Media. And this is where you're going to find your media infrastructure, your media files. And you can see these are all my media files that I've been uploading to the system. And if you want to add something new, you've got several options. You can do a media upload, which means that you can upload a file that was created on another tool into the system. You, you can, um, uh, well, I don't, this doesn't always work connecting to YouTube. Uh, you can use Kaltura Capture, which is the uh, built-in tool that we use that you can use to create your introduction video if you so like, or you can do a desktop capture like I'm doing here. I happen to be using a tool called Screencast-O-Matic because it's a, it's a tool I use quite a bit. Uh, it's got a little bit more power, more features. Uh, it has a management capability that I use in the cloud, and I've been using it for a few years now, so it's a tool I'm very familiar with. But um, regardless of what you've done to create the media file, if you use Kaltura, it automatically goes into my media. But if you've created something with Screencast-O-Matic or Camtasia, Snagit, ScreenFlow, or a whole host, you know, QuickTime, or a whole host of other tools um, that you might have want to use to upload, or you've created something in iMovie, or you've shot something in your digital SLR, you've edited it with iMovie, or DaVinci Resolve, or uh, Adobe Premiere. There's so many different tools you can use. If you've got a video you want to upload, you simply click on Media Upload. And I'll, I'll show you how I upload the files that I create in the Zoom recording. So, um, you have an option of uh, bringing up a, a, uh, an interface, or you can actually even drag and drop a, a video recording, and that's what I'm going to do. So the, the recording from our Monday night uh, meeting um, yeah, it's Wednesday morning. I still haven't updated that. It's been a busy few days here. <laughs> um, so if, to upload that, I simply drag, drag and I drop it into uh, the folder and it'll automatically start to upload. You could have done the same thing by going through your file structure, finding the file and uploading it. I just happened to have it ready. I was taking a look at it. Um, I automatically label things in such a way that it'll make sense. Um, you can add a description if you like. You've got control over that. Uh, it warns you about different things. Ah, it's private right now because I'm the owner. And I'm going to hit save. And the reason I hit save is that I wanted to automatically process the file. Um, also, after the video has been uploaded, I am going to publish it. And you're not able to publish it until you've saved it the first time. Just a little gotcha with uh, Kaltura. So um, as we're going along, um, I'm going to come back to this at some point. Um, and um, show you what you do next to make sure that you get it published because that's the other little gotcha you're going to run into. Now, what I want to explain is that I'm not going to take you through everything in step-by-step -step detail because your desktop might be different. You might be doing this on Chrome. You might be doing this in Safari, different browser. You might be doing this in Windows. It's going to look slightly different. I want you to, to know where to look, but not necessarily what to see. What you're going to see is going to be dependent upon your own desktop. So it's going to be important for you to understand that there are going to be some differences. The other thing I want to bring to your attention too, some of these files that we create can be quite big. And you'll notice that, hmm, listen, it's pausing. It's just the way that it is. So we'll, we'll wait for that to catch up. I'm not sure why it pauses, but it sometimes does that. So 
Um, I'm going to talk about a couple other things that are going to be important while this file uploads. Okay, as you can see, the video just finished uploading, so the upload is complete. Uh, it still has to process it. There's some stuff that happens in the background, so you might not necessarily the vid see the video. You're going to see some gears on it if you try to use it and work with it right away. But here's something I, I want to uh, show you that you need to do now is that um, I want to publish this. When I click on that publish area, it gives me an option to publish it in a certain location. Well, guess what? I, I want to publish it in, in 3320, so I check that off. Okay? And now I hit save. And so that file will be, you know, ready to go. So there's there's other files that I can upload now, but I, I'm not necessarily going to be doing that. So now that that file has been published, if I want to work with this particular file and embed it into um, a... Uh, forum or well in most cases you are going to be pub if, if you're doing this with your introduction uh, video or other videos your asynchronous videos you're you're going to want to embed that into a forum so I'll, I'll show you how that is going to work next so now that we have a file uploaded into the system I just want to show you um, how you can get it into one of your forum discussions so um, I'm not actually going to post this but I'm going to go through portions of the motions so let's say I wanted to share a file with you folks and this is what I'm going to be doing shortly here as soon as I finish the update um, uh, file or actually at when I finish this I'm probably going to post this to the announcements area and then maybe put it in another location as well um, so if I want to post this I add a new topic and you know you indicate the topic name so this is you know Caltura um, and uh, my media tips Okay, so uh, my media tips. Uh, for some reason, I hit a, a quick command key and it took me off on a tangent. So um, now that I, uh, I, I've got my topic in place, this is your typical screen. And here's the gotcha. How do I embed the Kaltura video? How do I do it? Well, you click on this little down arrow and you're going to see this kind of interesting little multiple colored embed Kaltura media icon. And you click on that, and then it allows you to go into your My Media section. And you'll notice, ah, there's those gears. Yeah, that means that the video hasn't been processed yet. So I want to embed this particular video. And I simply click on Embed. Right? Now, here's another gotcha. It'll give you the preview. And it, it, it shows, uh, well, it's still processing, or it looks like it has. Um, you have to hit the second little Embed. Right, and then you have your ability to post that. Now, one other little gotcha. If you want to add some additional text, make sure you hit the enter. If you hit enter uh, and start typing after, if, if you don't do that, and if you start typing in here, you can actually mess up the embed code. So just be careful about that. But that's the key. Getting that embed in here is the key. Um, and then once you've done that, it's posting to forum, add your tag. So this would be a, an update video and, and away you go. It's there. Okay. And then you can check it out. So this is, this is part of the gotcha. It's, it's not seeing that, that extra little step here. That is one of the gotchas. So hopefully I've provided a context and some ideas as to how you can, um, uh, clarify this and how you can make sure you've got your video embedded uh, into the forum discussion. Um, and uh, I think this should be enough to help you help folks deal with some of these issues.